hello beautiful people welcome back to global happenings today tv we have very sad news coming from um uh, Mazen Namdekano's um, lawyers. Very sad news coming from Mazen Namdekano's family and from Mazen Namdekano himself. And this is um, gradually getting out of hand. And I just hope that something is quickly done. Earlier on in the day, um, um, Ifanye Joe for the late council of Mazen Namdekano had given an update on what is going on in the DSS uh, the facility and how, of course, he's doing the needful to ensure that Mazen Namdekano comes out unscratched. A lot is happening behind the scene. But of course, it's not just ending there. Kunyata Prince Meme, uh, that's uh, Masin Namdekano's brother, has raised an alarm and it's worth being worried over. Uh, I don't know. I just hope that, um, like uh, if I Jeffa will always say, let it end in praise and victory. I just hope that in the process of the uh, praise and victory, there will not be scars to tell. Well, before we go into the news report, to find out exactly the warning that is very worrisome, we like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as update our channel on youtube well, let's go straight into the news uh, the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob that's mazin namdekano has alleged that he's being denied food in the facility of the department of state services dss kano is currently detained in the facility of the dss on the order of Justice Binta Motala in Yakol led Federal High Court in Abuja on the treasonable felony charges preferred against him by the federal government of Nigeria. However, disclosing the alleged ill treatment by the Department of the State Services in a then statement on Monday, the younger brother to the secessionist leader, that's Prince Kano Meme, also claimed that the Nigerian Secret Police has denied him his medical report after taking his blood for more than 21 times my god prince kano meme was on a routine visit to the detained separatist leader namde kano the pro biafra leader regretted the action of the dss despite several court pronouncements ordering nigerian government to make available to him the medical report well the pro biafra leader regretted the action of the dss despite several court pronouncements ordering the Nigerian government to make available to him the medical report. The statement by the younger brother partly reads, just visited Alpha Maz Namdekano at, at the Department of State, Service, State Security Services Abuja. During my interaction with him, he told me that he has been denied food since yesterday. I said that was not enough. The DSS had also denied him his medical report after taking his blood for more than 21 times. Have they continuously, they have also continuously disobeyed all court orders. I don't know what is going on, but let's feel the pulse of Nigerians because one, the the the, the, lead, the um, lawyer, the late counsel of Mazen Namdekanu had earlier on uh, brought out a statement. And the statement was also very terrible. In fact, he had decided to make some, a lot of uh, moves to see how we can correct some of the abnormally. I do not know how he's, he's going to get it right. Having, judged, having also known that the court has actually given orders of which it was not obeyed. So I don't know how he's going to get this orders being obeyed by the DSS, but let's continue. This one here is saying, um, let him starve himself. He deserves not to even leave. This is the man that incites hate and violence. Uh -uh. This one here said, they should, be, they should buy sweets and some bananas for him so far this one here is saying so this so this is the reason why i want mnk to be detained in dss custody but i pity this country if anything happens to that innocent man this one here is saying take him to kujo prison for sweet water beans can you imagine what people are saying here this one here is saying are you as you are aging in this I don't understand what she's trying to write. So here he's saying, we did not send MNK agitation for the Libos. We sent Moses to agitate for liberation of the Israelites from the hands of Egyptians. So MNK was sent to liberate the Igbos from the hands of Arabs and waiting for the opening eyes of Igbos to recognize the presence of MNK in their midst. Okay, but a lot of reactions, some have come in for, some are actually against, a lot of, but in all, honestly, it's uh, worrisome. The question is, why are they taking so much blood samples? 21. It is big enough. They took the first one, yes, they didn't get the report. 
a medical report. He took the second. According to him, though, according to them, because I was not there. They said he took the first one, took the second one, one, two, three, four, 21 times. And the reports are coming up. I'm sure the medical reports have been out. They must have seen it. And, you know, so what exactly are they looking for? And what exactly are they trying to, is it erase or impute? It doesn't make sense. And if the person they're taking the blood from is with wisdom based on rights, human rights and all that, he deserves to know what is in his blood. Exactly. He needs to. Exactly. He deserves to know what his status is. At least he has full history or he has in his fingertips his medical history and uh, it's his fundamental human right let's try to do things you know the right way if uh, the court to have uh, given the go ahead that everything that he needs those things that were placed before the court should be given to him why not why are you treating him like i mean it points to the fact that what we are seeing is you know it's not the real stuff at least if you want to try him let it be that everything that he should enjoy everything that he should know he should know them you know it's quite uh, disturbing to hear this kind of thing clear indication that maybe our court is no more the last hope of uh, a common man again because if the court's orders are being you know overlooked uh, it is being disobeyed then we have a future ahead of us which is going to be very bleak you know, and on, on, on another worrisome thing is the fact that, don't forget, he has not been convicted yet. Of so course. he's still very much innocent, innocent until course. found guilty. Well, otherwise. So if he's still innocent, give him every right that an innocent man deserves. If he deserves food, give him food. food. If he deserves a change of clothes, give him a change of clothes. If he is going through some medical issues and they're going through medical tests, he has every right, right. to know his medical status. So that, you know... Now, everybody's a bit um, worried that if anything happens to him, you know, with all this um, hanky-panky that is being played, today uh, they were adjourned, tomorrow I uh, give him court, they'll flout it, everything just, just happening, nobody really understands the story here and there. It, it begins to give one an ideology that if anything happens to him afterwards, or if even after he's been released, they'll begin to think, maybe that's what was happening during when he was in detention. Allow the thing to flow freely, so that even posterity will judge everyone fairly. Okay, but now, um, even the other time, uh, uh, Ifa Ijefo was talking, saying he's going to file an application to ensure that um, Marcin Namde can get his maximum. A whole lot of people during, uh, in his social media page were just saying a lot. Some of them were saying, please, Biko, um, uh, uh, Barrister Ifa, don't just be talking. I hope you are putting action to the talks. You can give the update, but ensure that before you even give the update, you have already put action to the talks. Which he is doing, you know, he's doing exactly that. Because the last, I think the last uh, meeting they had, last, uh, yeah, in court, I think December 2nd, yeah. those things were being terrible. And according to the info we got, uh, they, 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 the judge said that they should give him everything that he deserves. And if they turn down the court order, they should get back to her. You understand? Of which I think they would. Anyway. Yeah, of course. They have to write to her immediately to get her informed. All right, that's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation, please, for so take on this. Do have a nice time. God bless you. Bye.